I want to introduce two people now that so many of you are here. The guy in the, in the hat with the very elegant vest, I'm going to stand by him here. This is Snow, uh -huh. Snow Tracks, who is a, <laughs> snipe, sign pay, ugh, a Science Space guide and the creator of Glacier National Park and Science Space. And okay. he, he actually lives 17 miles from the park entrance. And he, oh. he's a land surveyor in real life, and he runs a antique and second half store on the weekends and god knows what else he does but he <laughs> he builds this among other things uh, also um dixie chick where are you dixie um she's in the welcome new user chat oh i'm here okay but you're uh you're not at science um what she'll be here center. she'll yeah. be here later awesome. dixie is okay. the uh, science space staff and the community liaison to virtual pioneers oh, okay yeah yep Welcome everybody, and um, I hope y'all have fun. This is an Thank you. awesome, awesome, is awesome room. We are, Can we um, introduce you yeah. first, Spiff? Sure. Serena, introduce Spiff quick. <laughs> okay, so um, I always say that I'm the brains of Virtual Pioneers, and Spiff is the pretty face up front. But yes. Spiff is really front the founder. Man, of virtual pioneers he came to second life in 2007 or something and saw the potential for teaching people about history and geography and cultures and the group has continued since then with bi-weekly tours to anything that would be of interest to specifically social studies teachers but also just anyone who's interested in history, geography, or um, cultures. You want to add anything to that, Spiff? Oh, that sounded great. I'm glad everyone's here, and thanks to Sidearm and uh, Serena for putting this together. They did a lot of work. Yes. Okay, so um, thank you, Sidearm, for getting us over here and introducing us to the marvelous work of Snow Tracks, and I think we're ready to start. All right. Okay, here we go. This is the official script version of the tour. And um, okay. let me, so first of all, stay right where you are. Um, <laughs> first of all, That's uh, you always tell if you don't, don't yeah, if you don't already know, you can use your WASD keys. W moves forward, S moves backward, A is turn, D is turn right. Do not walk into any signs or you will instantly disappear and we'll have to get you back. All right. If you don't know how to look around, and I'm going to give you something to look at, so turn your avatar until there's that giant map in front of you. It's got a little, the guy in the cowboy hat is in front of us, so just turn your avatar till you're looking towards the front. And then if you right, and he's flying now, if you right click on the map and then scroll, drag your mouse, you can kind of drag your view up and look at the map. This is a map from uh, real life of Glacier National Park. It's also overlaid with a bunch of red dots. These are all locations in this science space recreation that you can teleport to. They are all separate scenic points of view, which is why I say don't walk updated. Don't walk through a sign or you'll be at one of the red dots and God knows, you know, but we'll get you back. So if you get but lost just say a blue globe there yeah I'm, i'll get there through. i'll get there i'll get there okay. relax okay. this is the <laughs> did i mention snow is the builder designer here and everything i'm telling you today i've been on three homework tours with him to learn this stuff um uh i've already introduced snow tracks the guide and creator here and dixie chick the community liaison um and there is a copy you, of the script arm. at the end. Okay, over here, turn left. You're very welcome. And, and we're going to give you time to talk to these folks at the end, I promise. But our goal is to get you through to the to the end point where there's lots of room. It, this You're this is a red, red bus. bus. You can you can click any of the blue arrows and sit in it if you want to you know take a photo opportunity. Um, these are real in the real park. These tour, this is an older version of the bus, but these are very historical. The park is located in northwest Montana near the Canadian border across from Alberta. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and we'll talk more about that later. 
Um, there are blue globes all over the region. If you remember how to right click drag and look back towards the park entrance where there's a stone arch, there's a blue globe hanging there. I'll tell you more about what those are later. Um, whenever you have changed your view, just hit escape and you'll instantly go back to behind your avatar. Okay, uh, we are now going to go there to the beaver trail. Four, four red buses running and one loop takes 44 minutes. Yes, you can come back and ride one of these buses with Snowtrack's avatar driving you. Okay, turn your avatar, remember AD to turn around and W to move forward and follow me. <laughs> Bless you. Gazoon height. Carefully down the green, not walking to any signs. Don't walk into the hot air balloon. Everything here. Fence up the guide. Yeah. Excuse me, Dixie. Can you grab Ellen? She's at the Welcome Center. E L Y E N. Yes. I do see them. They are not responding in chat. Okay, so, so every everybody. <laughs> I see them. I'm standing right in front of her. <laughs> okay, what I want. What I. Yeah. What I want you, everybody to do is to walk through the fences, the V-funnel fence that snow tracks. Why don't you kind of start leading the way there? Follow the guy in the cowboy hat between the fences. <coughs> walk through the sign and just when you get there, don't move, you know, except to politely get out of the way of somebody. As you walk through. You want me to go? Yes, go. You want me to go? Yes, please. Lead? Okay. You. <laughs> I'm there. All right. See, I love Discord. He's he's there. Whoa, that was wild. Isn't that wild? <laughs> I'll stand at the head of the trail. Yeah, there you go. Stand at the trailhead. That's that's a talking point. Okay, I'm looking to see. Okay, who's left? Okay, there's only a few left. Okay. Uh, <laughs> may, oh, I like these little gates you put up. Yeah, and boy, thank you, Snow. That was brilliant, actually. And there's oh, water I I sound effects. Oh my gosh. Because the signs are pretty close together. Yeah, I don't want to mention now, anyone. Here, Main don't no no yes. don't start it yet. Wait wait. Um, uh, I want to show them this blue globe site. Okay. Don't bump it. Yeah, don't walk through the blue globe. Okay, I'm coming behind you now. I don't see anybody else here. So uh, Dixie, if you need us to TP you, let me know, and we'll we're at the Beaver Pond Trail now. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Tell them. I figure so, I'm good here. Tell them about the people still coming. Tell them about the blue globe. The blue globe returns you to the landing site. Oh. So every teleport you go to an area, there's a blue globe nearby. And there's two more down this trail. So if you accidentally went to the wrong place, you walk through a blue globe, you go back to the landing site, and then you go to the right place. <laughs> yes. By the way, remind me, Snow, did you, did you, were you born in, hi, Cindy, I see you there. Um, Cindy's behind. Cindy's also wearing a cowboy hat. Um, Hi, Cindy. Uh, I, I feel like introducing everybody. We're on the tour now. So when we get to the end, you can all, you'll be amazed at the connections. Please use your A arrow and turn to your left and notice the deer with antlers. We are looking at... A mule. That is a mule deer. That's a mule deer. That's that's right. Also, we, we are... types of deer. We're in a forest of Douglas fir. The, all the, I call them pine trees, but they're actually Douglas fir. Now, if you would carefully walk for, down the right-hand trail with me a little bit, just a little bit, past the sign that says, <laughs> Trail to the Beaver Pond. I'll wait for you to catch up. What We're going we're gonna to move and pause, move and pause, so just get used to it. But I'll oh, bear grass everywhere. There you go. Yes. Five gold grass. points. What does bear grass look like, uh, AJ? Also... It's the stuff with the white on top of it. The white Looks on like giant, it, giant Q-tips. There you and go. Bears love to eat the flower tops. It's also nicknamed mm. elk grass because the elk eat it too. Oh. And then there's some red flowers on the right, which are Indian paintbrush. Indian. There you Indian go. Indian paintbrush. And then there are some pink orange flowers, which are wild daffodils yeah now here's another tip with your interface if you right click on the daffodil and push your w key you'll fly in and if you press your s key you'll fly out as long as your right mouse button is pressed and this fly is into the flower this is called fly cam 
So, and you can press A and D. Now, Oh, you can sneak up to it and just like take a look at the details of it. Exactly. And there are a lot of, all of these are from real life pictures. All, everything you see here, the animals and the flowers are native to Glacier Park, which is why it's a bio reserve. And all of them were made uh, by a, snow tracks. A lot from my, my real life photos. Yep. In fact, Arctic Rose here, I, I took her moose from Alaska. And it's in, <laughs> down here by the beaver pond. Yeah, we're going to find that Alaska moose, never you mind. By the way, if you remember, hit escape and you'll automatically go back to behind your avatar point of view. So now you've seen some of the flowers and um, the Douglas fir. So please follow me down the trail. It's always marked by brown. So as long as you're on the brown trail, you're, you're chugging along okie doke. Please follow me, and I'll be chatting a bit while we walk. So this is not a pause point. Um, every one of these Douglas firs has been placed individually by snow tracks. These are not a sprinkle algorithm. He, he, he lovingly hand created this forest. Did I mention he's a land surveyor? Uh, <laughs> I think he also hands not, not licensed. You missed the squirrel. Um, no, we're, no, we're going to the second squirrel. Trust me. Okay. S second squirrel. <laughs> uh, pine cones galore all over the place. I hope I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Here's the second squirrel. So, uh, get up to the second squirrel and pause. Pause. And again, I want you to look around. Remember, right click, drag, look up, down, and around. If you look towards your left, you'll see. Um, very noticeable different looking trees way up on the hill they have a kind of a red brown bark those are cedar uh, trees yes. oh uh -huh. beautiful very different yeah. from the douglas fir the park, there was a trail here trail of the cedars yep huh. Which um, is and you also notice nature. notice the depth of field you're looking at the trees in front of us, then you're looking at a hill, trees on the distance, and sky in the background. And these are just on pretty much regular graphic settings. Now turn to your you right. Know about graphic settings? We're, that's on me. That's, that's good, good lead. Medium or high? Yeah, turn right now and look towards the sky to the right and scroll up and down. And, uh, boy, I can't see it too well here. Hmm. Anyway, just admire the depth of field. We're going to come to a different I place. Love it. Yeah, what's what Snow Tracks is telling you is, and why don't you check at the bottom right of your menu, there is a a, a gear icon uh, next to the loudspeaker called settings, and it, go ahead and click settings for a minute, and click uh, and and graphic is the first option, and usually your viewer will automatically pick either fast or medium, and now I'm on medium. I don't know what you're on. Medium is perfectly fine, and it will let you see very far in the distance. Um, if you're on an older machine, it may have set you on fast, and you could just leave it there. You won't you won't be missing anything. But medium is a wonderful setting. It gives you a lot of um, depth of field. Uh, now you can just close that uh, settings window just by clicking the little X at the top right. All right. So snow tracks. Could I interrupt for a minute? Snow tracks. Did you actually get a DEM file elevation of glacier? Can, can we say? Let, in the, I'm going to add, Dave. Would I you? Think this is really. This is really important. I just give me two minutes. Oh, I, I, I I don't have two minutes. I gotta I gotta save questions to the end. Honest to God, oh, I, God, I, I yeah. promised. Okay. I promised. Jot it down, Dave. Yeah. I'll help you remember. Yeah. Okay. You guys yeah. If you have a question, way. let Serena All just right. tell it, and Good Serena's way. write it down. Okay. Keep walking. Okay, now as we walk forward, you'll see um, goldenrod. Duh. I hope you have your allergy pills if for those that are allergic. And that's actually a weed that the park does not like to have there. Yes. Yeah, it's not native. Noxious weed. <laughs> it's a native noxious weed. A noxious <laughs> weed even when it's native. This but is my favorite funny. part. As you walk through these branches, please hold. Ouch. Try not to smack your neighbor in the face as you walk through the branches. <laughs> That happens in real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the right hand, you'll see more black-eyed Susans. And on the left hand, you'll see some more daffodils and Indian paintbrush. And, oh, there's a, look, there's a fawn, a baby fawn on the right. But keep Aww. keep walking. Yeah, oh, this is an awe moment. <laughs> keep walking. Oh, my God. Do you see what I see up ahead? Yes. Keep, keep walking. Yes, these are there i'll point out there's an error i made note of 
the moose walks through a tree. Well, so I got to go in and remove the tree or look remove at that the moose. moose. Yeah, it's, it's 3D. A moose. 3D it's and moving rendered and animated. Yep. Don't touch the moose. Here. You might get teleported to somewhere. No, yeah, no. Good, good win, no. Ninja. Or should I say Georgina? Um, just kidding. You might get eaten by the moose. No, no, no. Yeah, that fully rendered and animated, and I have no idea where Snow got that, but it is totally na <laughs> native to the region. Now keep walking, no. keep walking, keep walking. I don't have a collider on these. Yeah. Uh, Snow Tracks is constantly updating this region, so next time you come here, the moose will not walk through that tree. I, I almost double guarantee, but please follow me. Now, now on the left, there are white-tailed deer. Yeah, look at that. These are different kind different of deer. Different than the mule deer. Yep. Different. And keep on walking past the little. Um, and now I, don't I mean to interrupt you. Sorry. No, no, you're 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 blending in beautifully. Now I see some. What are these doggies on the left? What are those things here? The coyote. Coyote. Oh. Coyotes. Coyote. Coyote. Nice. Or coyotes. <laughs> now. Coyotes or coyotes. Some uh, then we'll we the come up here and we'll stop at turkey. at the wild. Yeah, we're going to stop at the. This is another point to pause. This is the wild turkey pause point. So come on up to the wild turkey pause point. Just a little past it. <laughs> they don't look like our wild turkeys. These are more well fed. Uh, yeah, well, we know, kind of God knows where <laughs> where snow found those. I'd like to point out like the rock climbing the pretty plink flowers here. These are wild rose down on the trail if you look down uh, and if you move up a little bit further uh, these white droopy things are more um, what are those old man of the mountain old man of the mountain thank you and th there's there's a and a lady slipper one of these things is lady slipper I keep I told you I took a lot of notes La the little slipper. tiny ones are lady slippers yes okay now I'm standing by a wild rose there you go oh, uh, Arctic rose is his wild rose Okay, now we're going to do something very, very, very exciting, people. In a minute, not yet, we're going to run through the gully, which run? is, yeah, now, the, yeah, sh I know, I kept telling S Snow, stop running, I can't. Never run, never run. <laughs> Far ahead of you, you'll see what looks like kind of, uh, kind of a brown <laughs> hummock. That is the beaver lodge. We're going to run up to the beaver pond and stop. And the way that I'll you... Show them, uh... Let I'll me finish. To the right. Yes. Okay. We're going I put to it into local. Shift run, shift W, and fast as you can, run ahead and stop at the beaver pond. Go. Wait, yeah. And there you go. And if you forget how to steer, you can use WD. If you run up the side of the gully, it's okay. There, there's a <laughs> now, nice, nice view. We are in bottom land, which is kind of wet. Yes. And that's where white birch white birch grow in poplar trees oh yeah i totally forgot to tell you about the white birch where the moose are but yeah if okay now turn around and look back the way you ran and there's another blue globe that snow is pointing out don't walk through it <laughs> well that would take you back to the landing it'll take you back to the park entrance and then you'll have to walk the whole trail again which isn't a bad idea um, and but, you can walk inside the beaver house. There, there's a beaver. Yeah, uh, so go, feel feel free to explore here for a few minutes before we move on. The beaver pond is a point of interest. There's anim you can run into the lake. It's not that deep. Yeah, Serena's got her flip flops on. And go up to a swimming beaver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the beavers. Yep. Thank uh, you. You can sit on these tree trunks that the beavers nod over. Uh, if you click the blue arrow, you'll sit. And then after you sit, you at the bottom you just click stand up. It's it's that complicated. Um, so these are ferns and cattails. And as Snow said, this is the bottom land wetland area. the The park itself has alpine and bottom land regions for real. Um, it has two sub ranges of the Rocky Mountains. It has 130 separate named lakes, a thousand species of plants and hundreds of species of animals and it's about one million acres yep it's the size of the grand canyon uh, there you go day really yep beaver i did not know that beaver <laughs> rose is excited again the beaver is very friendly and they didn't mind when i let them uh they, they let me walk in but they really need 
furnishings, but as I understand it, all the roots, the edible roots are hidden underneath the, the, the lodge, so we can't see their refrigerator, so to speak. <laughs> yep. So yeah, so come on back to the, to, to the first beaver. <laughs> beaver the first here, where the tree trunks are, the, the tree stumps. Come back here where I am. And uh, we've got more to look around here. It's pretty amazing. Back to our leader. There you go. Got plenty of time, though. We do. And don't worry. I'm. I have plenty of filler material from you. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> yep. All right. Now what we're going to do? Um, whoever's flying, if you just hit page down, I think you should land. Okay. Is that? Um, or there? I'm trying. Ah, Val, thank you. There you go. Val, oh, Val. Yeah, I you could hit. Val, thank you so much for being here. I know you've had a really busy day. Um, okay, we're going to start walking now to the right. This is the Blackfeet Nation Trail. I looked that up, by the way. That's a real song. Now, you'll... You always forget the otter. Here's the otter. Now, there's an otter here. You, you ought to remember the author. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, next time we come back, maybe maybe it'll be a, a 3D. Who knows? Uh, more ferns on the right. Now, here, if you look to your right, you'll see the sunrise or sunset. It's your choice. Now, this is where your graphic setting makes a difference. What I see is a sunrise and a big mountain looming up to the left of it. Now, that's on medium setting. Um, if if you are on fast setting, which you click on the gear at the bottom right and then click fast, the mountain will kind of disappear because technically, as I understand it, and Snow will kick me if I'm wrong, it's on it's on the second terrain map. Um, so you have Draw to distance. yeah you have to be yes. on the medium graphic setting and then you'll see these huge mountains. But if you see them, right mouse drag and look up at it, and further you'll see a huge ice peak behind the 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 nearer mountains and um oh, where are you looking? oh okay that's three sisters th that's three sisters and again i you... can get on top of mountain at my house and see three sisters there you go so everything here is real life uh, is the point um and day's got a burning question about is it actually terrain mapped which will be addressed when we get to the village i promise um but okay. i also want to point out you can't really see it, but halfway up that mountain that I'm, you, you see trees across the top. There's a semi-noticeable line that is going to the Sun Road. And if you're on the bus or driving a 4x4, you, and Day has brought one, by the way, you could be driving <laughs> that mountain in a separate right. tour. <laughs> but, if you look real close, you might see a bus go by. Yes, yes. Yeah. So... Okay, back to our trail, following the brown trail, march. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, now our second scenic point is the beaver on the stump. <sighs> I had to make all these up. So we'll, we'll come up with me to the beaver on the stump. I like what you pick out. <laughs> well, I listen to you, believe me. Why is the stump so black? Was there a fire or is that my graphics? Oh, that's, that's a good graphic black. setting. Uh, it, looks, it looks fine dark to me. gray. It's, it's not black for me. Okay, it's just, my graphics. Just, just FYI, I am using the most, the highest settings possible on this computer. So. Oh, yay! Nice. <laughs> I should mention George Ninja is also a member of the VR Exploder Club with that Pat is the leader of, and that's where I first met him. I've run into him at several virtual worlds at this point, and he's always pushing the boundaries in a good way. Okay, here, okay, tur aim to your left and look back towards the pond, if you would. So now you can see the lodge from from the side, and you can see that the pond is full of swimming animated beaver. And also, again, notice the depth of field. In the back on the other side of the pond, you'll see the low hills and the trees against um, the sky. I, I just, you know, one of Snowtrack's goals here was to recreate the sense of immenseness of Glacier Park. Yes, let me mention yes. this this region equals 156.4 SL sims. That's amazing. That's 150. Amazing. 156.4. Wow. That's amazing. Size is no limit here. 
in sign space. That's it's cool. megabytes. Yeah, megabytes or something. <laughs> megabytes. Now, we'll talk about that more at the end, and we'll show you how all Great. kind of techie stuff. Okay, um, let's keep moving forward. Now, we're going to run again, but before we do, I want you to... Um, we're going to run we should, until we... We should really walk. <laughs> well, okay, we can walk. We, we're going to... Our next point of... Oh, no, but running fun. I love running. Or run. Well, stop it. Then. Stop at Moose Island. That's all I'm going to say. It'll be on the left. Moose okay. Island. Stop at Moose Island. I'll, I'll go up by it. Okay, yes. Uh, there's more beaver. Now, this beavers are all over the place. I wonder what this is called. Oh, yeah, it's the beaver pond. Yep. By the way, the uh, the leafy trees on the right are poplar. So again, remember there are uh, a thousand different species in the real park, and Snow's been doing his darndest to try to. I, I can't possibly put all those in here. Yeah. Although oh, I'm putting a lot of plants in with uh, 2D, and I put them in as grass. Yep. That's why they always turn to face you. Yep. So he's oh, using moose a combination here. of 2D and 3D. Yep. Okay. Tell them about this, Moose Island. This, this moose that I'm standing by is an Alaska moose that was in Arctic Rose's yard. I stole, oh, cool. I stole the photo off her Facebook picture. That is so cool. And I cut it out. Yes. An Arctic it's Rose uh, lives in lives in Alaska. And she and Snowtracks are buddies. And Snowtracks has another region, Science Space, called Alaska Mount McKinley that he built uh, to work with uh, Rose on. And they have a country music event there every Friday night. Um, and um, I love it there. It's another great place to go four by four if you, uh, if, you, if you like that. It has little back road trails all over the place. Yeah, that is a calf moose. In other words, it's an immature um, male. And then another bull moose behind it. The, uh, I wrote this down somewhere. This has small antlers, right, Rose? Yeah, that's how I know it's a calf moose. <laughs> No, yes. I had to look it up. Oh, well, yeah. A it's a bull. A, a yearling, I would say. What's and that? then uh, I think I'm trying to remember if they're called. They're, oh, a female moose is called a cow. But I, I don't think we have right, any here. Right. But Rose right. knows. Okay, if we can slosh through the, the bottomland wetland pond again back to our trail. Anyway, that was Moose Island, which was wherever you go in, in Snow Tracks Bills, you'll, you'll find Rose. She's kind of, um, I don't know if she's like the brains and the, who's the brains and who's the beauty, like Serena was teasing about Swift, but <laughs> whatever they have. Rose is happily married in real life. There's nothing like that. No, I mean, I mean a creative partner, you know, you host We it. are partners. Yeah. Yes. She is a top-notch decorator, in-world decorator. There you go. That's now, cool. I'm walking straight ahead to what looks like a vertical tan pillar. So you can run if you want, but stop at the boundary marker. There you go. And again, let's... Oh, look at the deer. There you go. A doe and fawn. I knew that much. Beautiful. Another calf moose on the left. These are the boundary markers. With me, please cross over to the grilling fish. As we cross over, we are, f and pause there, we are formally leaving Glash Glacier National Park. You are have now entered the Blackfeet Nation. Oh, nice. Now, this is actually on the wrong side of the park. Now, 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 well, let's discuss that later. Let's discuss that later. Okay. The creator's perfectionist is good. Um, what, we have for, what do we have for dinner here, Snow? <laughs> They smoke fish. Yes. They're not cooking them. They're smoking them with a lot of smoke. That preserves yeah. them. I believe that so orange salmon. salmon there, and I have rainbow trout there. Yes, and uh, I have we had have, rainbow trout. They're good. We have six, seven different species of trout. Wow. Bull trout, uh, Yellowstone cutthroat, cutthroat trout. Very nice. So forth. Okay, we're going to keep walking now. Again, another blue globe. Uh, don't In walk through it. In the lakes here, underwater, McDonald Lake, it's fully decorated with fish. Oh, that's cool. 
four or five different species of fish. Now, as we the walk, the salmon are kokanee salmon. They're not the big Alaska salmon. Ooh. We're going to stop here by the mushrooms. This is another pause point. Mushrooms. You're going to get high. Uh, you told me that these are regular edible mushrooms. Snow. What What am I missing? I, they're just a mushroom. Okay. I, I did not make those mushrooms. Okay. Uh, they resemble shaggy manes, maybe. There you go. Not. They're shaggy. They're shaggy mushrooms. Now, the thing <laughs> I notice here, if you look to you your right. Eat you'll see the territory markers receding into the distance toward the mountain. So the, the, the full boundary goes a long way. And as I recall, Snow, you told me the, the boundary was agreed to in 1904. So the park was founded in 1904. No, well, I, I, think, I think the reservation was way before 1904. Oh, right, 1880, that's but right. the park was created in 1904, I think. Yeah, the park is definitely 1904, you, I, I remember that. And the Native Americans uh, reserve some rights. They have the right to hunt in the park. But oh, by gentlemen's, gentlemen's agreement, they do not do it. There you it's go. only by gentlemen's agreement. Okay, let's keep walking. We're, gonna, we're going up to the village now, which is where the smoke, other smoke is. Um, and you can run or walk. Mm -hmm. If you want to run, just stop at the village entrance. And I'll talk a little bit here. Again, there's a field of goldenrod and Indian paintbrush. Look to your right, you'll see uh, herds of elk and buffalo. And not now, but if you want to look at the buffalo after we're at the village, they are 3D animated, just like the bull moose. Um, so we have herds of elk, which are called does and bucks. And then um, buffalo. Bulls and... Oh, bulls? Okay, bulls. And uh, I don't know what buffalo are called. <laughs> <laughs> bulls and cows with the elk. Cows and bulls. Thank you. Okay. What? Yeah. Snow tracks, you can put your headdress on now. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yeah, as we get closer, you can see the elk now on the right. You'll notice, well, not you won't, but I remember the moose looks like it has a horse's head. It's a long snout coming out, but the these elk and the deer have short snouts. But what do I know, you know? It's, I love how they look in the distance. Yes. Again, depth of field and the feeling of immenseness. And everything yeah. here is native to the real life park. Now, as we come up to the entrance, thank you for pausing there. You'll see that it's marked by the spears with uh, the points up. Uh, and apparently this is a normal way they mark the entrance to the village. We can go ahead and walk through. That totem pole is based on a real life totem pole that's no actually made in real life. It's outside oh, of his, cool. shop, his shop and secondhand store. Well, uh, actually, they throw a spear into the ground when they want to make war with the white man ooh. or mark their territory. Uh -huh. It actually means you're entering their territory uh -huh. and beware. <laughs> well, that you was imagine my real life totem pole. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sleeping the switch. Well, you were thinking about the spears. We're, we're going to keep walking, but uh, the story about you're, we're going to go to a central location and then you're going to be put on free swim. But he made that totem pole in real life because apparently he researched them and they're too expensive. So he said, the heck with that, I'll make my own. Good just for you. Yeah, just like he made his own Glacier Park. So, you know. And uh, apparently we had this discussion already. Totem poles are highly symbolic and they can be whatever you want on them. Uh, even Native American or, yeah. I said, I imagine you're laughing at my totem pole. No. He said, no, no that's, it's beautiful. That's everybody's vision. No totem pole is incorrect. So we're going to pause here by what I call the gourd blanket, which has pumpkins and gourds and, and pottery on it. Yeah. Now, one of the I other, uh, as I understand it, uh, Snow is, is part Cherokee, so he does have Native American. No. Yes. And uh, <laughs> another member of Science Space is part Cherokee. So... Uh, he's kind of now responding to prompts to add more Native American stuff. Now, I'm going to describe what you can look at around here, and then 
that now, after that, we'll do Q&A. But I'm going to invite you to explore. Over here. Yeah. Uh, but wait, 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 wait. On the left-hand side, with a TP that has no clothing on it, I call the Indian Chapel. There's a giant bonfire ahead of you. To the right, there's a long lodge, sweat lodge. Um, the, you may notice an eagle flying around, just duck. Um, there are, uh, there's a ghost buffalo here. There are many, many more details here to discover. Please feel free to go ahead now and pray to the Great Spirit. Find that one, cuddle a papoose. Um, well, the chiefs are praying over here outside the Long Lodge. Yep. Um, you're welcome to come yes. back, bring friends, explore Everybody. other locations in the park. This is the big wind-up, and then we're open swim, guys. Um, other hiking trails include Haystack Creek, Ice Cave, and Trail of the Cedars. Driving includes going to the Sun Road from Lake McDonald to Logan Pass or ride the bus if you have 45 minutes or you can just hop off and look out for the drop, the sheer drop, like AJ said. So this is the end of the formal tour. Virtual Pioneers thanks Snow Tracks, Science Space Guide and Creator of Glacier National Park. Virtual Pioneers thanks Dixie Chick, Science Space Staff and Community Liaison. And Virtual Pioneers, thanks all of you for your participation and good company. <laughs> and now, yes. here we go. Q&A and free swim and snow is here to answer questions. Thank you.